So on the last video, I explained that there was a possible issue when selecting one hotel, going to the next step, adding some rooms, then going back to select hotel, select a different hotel, go back and add more rooms. So there we will have multiple rooms from different hotels. And that's something that we don't want to do. So what we want to do is to check if this hotel that we have selected match the same rooms that we also selected in select rooms. And if they don't match, we want to remove those rooms from the list. So how do we go about achieving this? Usually what I like to do is to search on Google how to do something like, for example, what I want to do here. So where when we add rooms, we are adding them to a page list. So how do we go about removing items from a page list? So let's search on Google. I'll start with Pega, and then I want to remove items from a page list. Okay, let's see this first result. Okay, so here we are using an activity to remove the items, but I would like to do it using a data transform. So let's see if we have an approach for using a data transform. Okay, so this is another way to do this, but using a data transform. So let's see what, okay, so, they seem to be using a function, which is this one, to remove items. So let's go step by step. So they have this address page list and they are creating three different items for this address page list. On each item, they are setting the add property equal to a string. After this, they are looping through each item in the page list with this for each page in address. And they are checking if the add property is equal to DEF. In this case, only the second item has add equal to DEF. So when this condition is true, they set the py delete object equal to true. Then outside of this loop, they use the function remove deleted objects from the address page list. So any item that has py deleted object equal to true will be removed. And just as a side note, the name of the parameter it doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want. So let's do this, but in our case. So let me add some rooms for testing. Now I want to add the flow action because I want to add this functionality in the pre-processing for this step. So to add the flow action, you can do it from the App Explorer or you can use the Live UI, select any item here and go to the flow action. Okay, so here on action, on pre-processing, I'm going to add a new data transform. I'm going to name it remove unassociated rooms. Okay, so in action, we want to loop through all of the room page list. Then we want to check a condition. Then we want to check if the name of the hotel is different from the name of the hotel in the page list. Now, remember that the context is this room page list, which is of the class data room. 
So we have access to all of these properties in this one condition. So here, let's open the expression builder. Let's browse, and I want to use one function that is called not equal. So we want to compare two strings, the one that is stored in the page list under hotel property, and the one that is in our case that is called select hotel. So we have two, this one, as you can see, it compares two doubles. We want the one that compares two strings. Let's add this one and use the dot operator. And here is something that Pega sometimes does that it's in the wrong context. So it is showing me properties from the work preservation case. But as I mentioned, we are actually in the context of hotel. So don't mind this list that Pega is giving you. We know that we are in this context of room. So that's, that's this one. And then to go to the context of preservation, we are going to use the keyword primary and then we have access to this property. So the property is select hotel. Let's click submit. And then the next step is to set by deleted object equal to true. So when these two are not equal, we want to set deleted object equal to true. And the last step is to call this function, remove deleted objects. So this is going, the, the last function is going to be called after these loops. So we are going to add a sibling below. We need a parent property that the name doesn't matter really. And here, let's open the expression builder and let's search for this function. So this function takes the page list property. Let's click submit. Let's save this data transform. Let's go to the flow action save this pre-processing data transform here and let's test so we are here let's go back let's change to a different hotel for example this one let's click continue and it is working that's awesome now let's add a few rooms okay i have these two rooms let's go back now, instead of changing the name of the hotel, I want to change the check-in and check-out dates. So this way, I should still have all of the rooms that I selected. And yeah, they are still there. So that's great. So that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll be creating a new stage where we will be adding guests, promo codes, and billing information. See you in the next one. Thank you. <music>